Hong Kong, one of Asia's iconic crossroad cities. Narrow skyscrapers define the city's image to much of the world, but it's a little known secret that a full 60% of the land is green space. And anyone who's been here can tell you the two aren't easily found in the same place until now. This is the ZCB, Hong Kong's first and only zero carbon building. Opened in June, it's a three-story oasis in Hong Kong's urban jungle that gets all its power from renewable sources. The PV alone uh, actually uh, provide more than 70% of the energy required for this building. KS Wong is architect of the ZCB. Uh, for the people, actually, they, uh, they may not be in such a close distance with the PVs, and uh, they may have heard about it, read about it, but they have never seen it. So we want to show the real installations. PVs, or photovoltaics, cover the entire roof of the ZCB. It has a 21-degree curvature. That's the same latitude as Hong Kong, guaranteeing the solar panels soak up as much sun as possible. And on the best days, they actually feed energy back to Hong Kong's grid. These are the inverters which turn the DC from the PVs into AC that we can use. All right, so basically it turns the sun's energy into electricity. Yeah. The ZCB also boasts other energy-saving features, air conditioning that blows from the ground up, not the top down, to target where the people are, big-ass fans, that's the brand name, that keeps air circulating. They move very slow, but they generate a lot of volume of air. And outside, an urban forest made only of indigenous plant species. That keeps the area one to two degrees cooler than the surrounding city blocks. But while Hong Kong's ZCB is groundbreaking for this Asian hub, it's not the first in the world to boast the name Zero Carbon. In April 2011, South Korea built the world's first zero carbon business building. And the world's first zero carbon city, Mazdar, was built in the United Arab Emirates. But the million dollar question, are the millions in cost worth it for what amounts to be showcase projects? You know, we want to evaluate all those uh, technologies in terms of their cost, in terms of their efficiency and the performance. And while Hong Kong may never be a city of only zero carbon buildings, the ZCB helps to show off the possible, to educate and to inspire a more eco-friendly future for the buildings we work and live in. Ramin Asensio, CNN, Hong Kong.